Hey y'all, welcome back on the video I just posted on a money saving tip on that onion soup mix. I told you I had a ton of things to do. The next project that I have is to take a drink. Y'all, it is a bang kind of day. Have y'all tried the cotton candy yet? What's your favorite? Let me know. I gotta drink some bang. Okay, what I'm trying to tell you the next project is I'm getting ready to can some beef stew. I am trying my best to do some prepping around this house. This is my first year um, doing the canning thing and I, I've done it like 20 some years ago and I got out of it and it's time to get back to it. Anyway, I have already got things prepped up ready to go. My jars are in the dishwasher. They're hot and I've got four pounds of beef stew chunks that I got at an awesome deal at the grocery store. Y'all, I don't buy nothing unless it's on clearance when it comes to meat. Anyway, um, I've got some carrots ready. I've got, um, I can't even think, celery ready. And I got some potatoes cut up. So, I'm just guesstimating. I hope I've got enough. Anyway, um, let's go ahead and start. Oh, oh, I almost forgot. And we gotta have this. So anyway, let's get some jars out and get this stuff filled up because I gotta get the processing, y'all. Okay, my pressure cooker only does, I think it's seven. So I've got seven jars out. We're gonna go ahead and get this thing filled up. Bang over there. Alright, so the first thing I'm going to do is add some potatoes in the bottom. Tim loves his taters. If it was me, I wouldn't add as many potatoes in there because I'm trying to low carb as much as possible. But I'm sure I'll get a bite of his. Okay, now I'm going to throw some meat in each one. Okay, now I've got the carrots. Tim's not crazy about celery, but it gives it a good flavor. He can pick it. <laughs> Make sure you have um, an inch head space also. So now my hands are dry, I'm going to open this up and put a teaspoon to each jar. And I'm doing a heaping teaspoon. I have water boiling in a pot and we'll add um, hot water to our jars. And these jars were really good and warm. I just took them out of the dishwasher. So you won't have them go into shock. And now you always need one of these so you don't have to worry about spilling it all over your countertop. I have water going in my pressure cooker also so everything is going to be warm. You don't want your jars to go into shock and crack. So be careful with that. Okay, now I've got my hot water here. I'm going to fill the jars to that top ring right there for your one inch headspace. It's packed so tight the water's not going down. I've got to work it in. Take something like this or like this. Don't use a knife and get in there and crack your jars. Be very careful about that. And get in here and get all the air out. Just work your way all through the jar. And 
and make sure you have the headspace there, your one inch headspace. All right, I have them all debubbled. Now, I've got some vinegar here, and I'm gonna brush around the edges or on the rims to make sure there's no food particles and, and all of the rims are smooth. All right, we're gonna add the lids and the rings on. I am not heating them ahead of time because they're gonna be in the pressure cooker for 75 minutes. And they say now, you don't have to preheat your lids. But, you know, that is up to you. You do what you want to do in my house. That's what I'm gonna do. And just kinda give it a good little tug. Don't go crazy and turn it real hard. Just give it a good little tug there. Be careful. Make sure that you wipe these rings really good because of the little bit of onion, that minced onion. You don't want it in your lids. Okay. They're all covered now. I'm going to put it in the pressure cooker and get it processing. All right. Here we go. I've got them in my Power Pressure Cooker XL. And I'm going to process these for 75 minutes. Once this lid gets on, let me try to do this and hold y'all at the same time. Make sure that the vent is off. You don't want it turned to steam. And you're going to mash your cannon button, and there's no need to show you all that. Mash your cannon button, and I'm going up to 120 here. Okay, so this is going up with the pressure now. You will not be able to remove this lid until the pressure is off. I will not release the pressure. It will go down on its own. So it is um, a relaxed moment now, and then I will jar up some more and throw them in there. So I want to let you know that my, my Power Pressure Cooker XL goes to 11 hmm, point something, point six or something on the pound of pressure for this particular unit. So, I am very happy with this machine. I have canned a lot with this, this machine and it is so quiet. Once it builds this pressure up, you'll hear a little bit of steam and then it's quiet. I love that thing. So, anyway, I'm gonna go and take me another drink and uh, work on some more stuff because I told you I was busy. I've already got rid of some um, tomatoes on my counters. I've got some right there that I am getting ready to make some salsa and um, I've got another bowl over there that I'm just going to do plain um, canned tomatoes. Busy, busy. I don't know if I'll get it all done before Tim gets home. But my focus right now with you guys and this particular video is the beef stew. I can't wait to see it. All right, I'll be back. Okay, I just took them out of the pressure canner and they are still bubbling. Well, boiling rather. And mm, mm, that's going to be some good eating, y'all. And you see the little white there. That's just from the meat when it was uh, raw packed. So it's nothing wrong with the jars. And they have already sealed. So I am so excited. So that one turned out. Every one of them sealed. I am always excited when I hear it go pop, 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 pop. And I'm getting ready to do another batch. I'm working on salsa. I got 10 jars of salsa processing right now. And then I got another batch of the beef stew to do. And I'll be done for the day. And I'm frying chicken for Tim and our neighbors for dinner tonight. Y'all, I have not stopped all day long. Let me tell you, my feet are probably swollen. Because <laughs> I'm used to being able to do a little bit, sit down. Uh, not today. 
Anyway, really excited to show you what I have accomplished today. Getting canned food in my house to have for the winter. And I'm going to keep on keeping on. I got a lot to get canned. A lot of food I need to save up for Tim and I to have. Because you don't never know when you're going to have an LCE, a life changing event, in your home. You don't never know. And the way this day and time is, there might be a shortage on food. So you better start saving now. That food in those jars will last for a long time. So please, if you haven't started yet, please start. You need to start saving your food. You don't want to be hungry. And there comes a time when you're hungry or when you're hungry. <laughs> Anyway, y'all have an awesome rest of your day. Be good and be safe in whatever you do. And I'll see y'all on the next video. Please like, share, and if this is your first time stopping in, mash that red button. I'd love to have you come along. Join the community. My community here is growing. I love having y'all subscribers out there and chit-chat with me. Woo, I love it. Anyway, y'all have an awesome rest of your day, and I'll see you later. Bye now.